There you yeah. go. Fantastic. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us. I am so happy to talk about one of my favorite subjects, the skincare makeup system. And I know everyone's like, what in the world is that? Don't worry, we will answer that for you. But before we get started, I'm gonna go ahead and do some introductions. So Ms. Emma, you wanna introduce yourself to the folks? Let us know. Yeah, so my name is Emma Roberts. I am the social media and influencer manager here at Jane Iredale. I've been around the company for about seven years. I started when I was still in college um, and I've worked in many different areas, but I'm so excited to be working with Nichelle for these master classes. It's so fun to kind of share new launches or different techniques um, with you all and connect with you all in this format. So happy to be here. Fantastic. Thank you. And I mean, Emma, I just, your, your job is so cool. Like I just, I just think you have one of the coolest positions in off in office. I just am so yeah. like, oh uh, yeah, yeah. I just I bow down to you, ladies. So mm -hmm. let me introduce myself. My name is Nichelle Turner, and I'm the global makeup artist and educator here at Jane. If you are not familiar with me, um, I will give you a little bit about my background. I've been a pro makeup artist for 28 years and done everything that you could possibly imagine, makeup oriented, done music videos, I've done some set work, I've worked behind the counter before, red carpet, I've done it all. Um, ho however, now that I'm a little bit more seasoned and kind of set my ways, I like to do still photography where I can just kind of work and go home, right? And I have been with Jane Iredell for nine glorious years. Not quite nine, I'll be, it'll be nine years in May, but it's, it's the best. I am just so happy to be here with Miss Emma and with you all. And let's get started. There's a, something in the chat. Let's check that before we get started. So yep. Everything's answered. All good. And I do just, before we get started, I just want to mention that as we're talking about different products, I will be putting links to those products in the chat so you all can see. So if you see me looking this way, that's what I'm doing. Okay, perfect. Thank you. All right. So master class objectives. You are all in a master class. First, we'll look at the Jane Iredell difference. Of course, we always like to start off with that with our brand message and really just to give you the true point of difference of what makes our brand our brand. The skincare makeup system. Again, we'll deep dive into what that really means. We're going to do a demo. Emma and I both braved showing up with no foundation on our skin for you all. So... <laughs> And then we'll have uh, time for a little bit of Q&A. We do have some pre-populated questions that we pulled earlier. However, if you need anything answered during the course of our masterclass, make sure you type it into your Q&A box or your chat box. And Miss Emma will be handling those and I will answer them to the best of my ability. All right, ready to get started? Let's do it. All right, this is absolutely my fa my favorite slide ever. Clean beauty has always been our foundation. This comes from Jane directly. And I love this slide so much because it just really speaks volumes to how we kind of got our start as a brand. Jane started this brand 28 years ago with one foundation, our amazing base, our beloved amazing base, with the mindset of creating something that was clean, and skin loving that could deliver the best for you and your skin. So here we have that equal part of skincare and high performance makeup. So again, you're seeing those clean ingredients, skin loving benefits and no fade performance. You will hear me mention some key ingredients um, throughout the presentation. And I think it's always important to mention ingredients because we are, again, the skincare makeup for the, for the, that reason. That clean loving formula, those high performance skincare ingredients really make a difference on your skin, just like any other topical skincare would. So what that means is when we start to talk about the skincare makeup system, what you'll start to understand is everything works together for the greater good. Everything works synergistically, so we are going to get the best for you and your skin. Clean makeup philosophy. Of course, we are a clean brand. We are very clean, 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 super clean brand. You would be hard pressed to find anything cleaner. And I'm, I may be a little biased. I don't know, Emma. I just may be a little biased. But 
oftentimes when you look at clean brands, especially with our brand, it's a, a lot of times it's not only what's in the makeup, but it's what's not in the makeup. So you'll never find talc. If I know I got a few questions about, you know, I'm this age and I may have a little texture on my skin, should I be using powder? I will say this because we do not have talc in our powder, you will never ever get a cakey feel to the skin. You'll never get an enhancement of fine lines and wrinkles or dryness to the skin. No mineral oil. So if you are acne, no one should be using mineral oil. Let's just put that out there. But especially those that are ac acneic, you know, mineral oils really will not allow your skin to breathe and function normally. So we wanna make sure that we keep the skin flowing in a natural state. No synthetic fragrances, no artificial dyes, especially if you have a highly reactive or a sensitive skin, those could do so much damage to you. I, I saw someone earlier ask about rosacea. So make sure that you are really, really paying attention to using products without synthetic dyes or fragrances no parabens and no phthalates. So phthalates are really interesting because phthalates are, it's what really makes things stick together. And right now phthalates are a really, really hot subject and I'm sure you all have heard by now, they've actually been banned in the state of California beginning 2025. So the phthalates that you're seeing in your beauty products that make things stick together actually have been linked to being an endocrine disruptor. So 2025 out of here in California. And I suspect it'll roll out to the rest of the country shortly. Jane Iredell is a skin care makeup that brings out the absolute best you. So I wanna end it there, but I, I have to keep going. <laughs> so why the skincare makeup system? Well, first and foremost, it's all about that skin-like finish. Yeah, we all love foundation. We all wanna look flawless, but we never wanna look cakey or heavy right? To optimize the skin health. Of course, again, I'll mention some key ingredients, but those ingredients work synergistically to give you the best radiant skin, the best healthy skin, and also just really, again, that breathable finish, that skin-like finish, and that healthy, healthy, healthy glow. Longevity, adherence, adherence, adherence. That's what I will say about that. So we always start with our Smooth Affair Primer, that's going to be your bridge between your skincare and your makeup. Now, this is where I get a little sticky as a makeup artist and educator. I have people that have often said to me, well, I use a moisturizer or I use a serum. Why do I need to use a primer? Again, the primer is going to bridge your skincare and your makeup together, right? And so what that means is it'll even out skin tone and texture. It will decrease the look of fine lines and wrinkles it'll even out unevenness as well. So you'll actually end up using less foundation because half of the work is done for you. And if you need a quick analogy, this is an analogy that I love to use. If you're gonna paint a wall, you don't just put a brand new coat of paint on the wall, correct? Because whatever's underneath will seep to the surface. So when we're painting, what we do is we prime that surface so that whatever we put on top shows up in its truest form. Same thing with your makeup. You wanna make sure that things are not sinking into any texture, whether it's large pores, um, residual acne scars, or fine lines and wrinkles. So that's going to come via our primer. And of course, we have our infamous, infamous Pure Press Face, which we'll talk about in just a second. And then we're gonna to top it off with our hydration spray in Palmist. Now, let's look at some steps here. So I mentioned the Smooth Affair Face Primer. This is how you're gonna prep that skin. This is how you're gonna bridge your skincare and your makeup. So why? Smooth Affair Face Primer is hydrating. It minimizes the appearance of pores and fine lines. It helps to prep the skin for a smooth makeup application and improved foundation wear. So again, it's all about that adherence, right? So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure you have your smooth affair, of course, massage a pea-sized amount into the face and neck until it's absorbed. Now we say a pea size, and that's really, you know, where you kind of wanna stick with, you don't wanna overuse or underuse the product. Everything is highly concentrated here because we have no fillers and no binders. So make sure if we say, Medium coverage, you start with that medium coverage first and you build if you choose to. If we say a pea size, make sure you start with that pea size, okay? 
what you get is that smooth, even hydrated skin. And then of course our pure press base. Why do we want to use our pure press base? It's gonna lay, the, lay on the skin just really, really nice and beautiful and evenly. It's micronized minerals really that just bind quite nicely to the skin. And we'll talk about that in just a second when I talk about application, how you wanna use it. Of course, we have our beloved handy brush, right? Downward motions, or you can roll with a flock sponge and we'll talk about that in just a second. And we're gonna to top it off with our palm mist. Our hydration sprays work synergistically with our first two steps. This is the step that people kind of like to skip over, but I will say this will give you the ultimate adherence for makeup. Our hydration sprays are the only thing that can penetrate our minerals. Let me say that one more time. Our hydration sprays are the only thing that can penetrate our minerals to lock them to the skin, making the makeup non-transferable, okay? So again, we're gonna start with our Smooth Affair, we're gonna move to our pure press base and then we're gonna finish it off with our hydration spray. We're gonna talk about palmist in just a second. So how do you use it? You hold, hold <laughs> the spray 12 inches from the face. If you get a little closer, you may not be happy. So 12 inches is a, is a good length. Spray all over. You know, some people like to do a little mist in the air and walk through it. I would not suggest that. I would suggest spraying directly on the skin. And also too, I should mention, this is something that you can carry in your bag. And you, if you don't wanna add any additional product on your face, if you just kinda of wanna refresh your makeup, you can absolutely spray again. They come in travel sizes, who knew? <laughs> yes, and there's refills too, so you can refill the travel size. Yes, 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 yes. So do we have any questions before we take a closer look at- I was just gonna say, yes. We have two separate people, one, uh, from Fran and then one from Gloria asking, where in this three-step process do you put sunscreen? Okay, so sunscreen always is gonna be your first line of defense. So you're gonna do your sunscreen if you're using a cream sunscreen before you put your primer. Again, you're gonna end your skincare with your sun protection if you choose to do that, or you can also use your pure press base as your sun protection as well. Yeah. Anything else? I think that's it. Oh, Carol just asked, can you refill the regular size or just the travel size? You can refill both. Um, and the refill actually gets you, I think, three refill sizes worth. Um, so it's definitely a great value. Yeah. So you get, so in the refill, you get three retail sizes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else before we move on? That's it. All right. So let's look at some key ingredients because I'm excited about ingredients because, you know, I work in education. <laughs> so if you are not familiar with our Smooth Affair Primer and Brightener, this is such an amazing product. This is our number one selling primer. We sell one of these every four minutes globally. That just blows me away. And I know that traditionally everyone has kind of been like, I don't know if I need a primer. You know, primers before felt really heavy. They felt really silicone on the skin. What you'll find with the brightening formula, it's more of a gel-like texture, super, super comforting to the skin. It firms, it tones, it brightens, and it gives skin radiance. So we have that grapefruit extract that promotes luminosity. We have apple extract that actually helps with skin's elasticity. So if you're worried about, you know, having a little bit of a lift in your skin, <laughs> that apple extract is going to help out with that green and white tea leaf extract. And also there's algae extract, which is anti-inflammatory and cooling and calming. And you'll also see royal jelly, which is fantastic for calming redness in the skin. We did and get a question. Oh, sorry. We just got a question about the primer asking, can you use it under the eyes? You absolutely can. It's safe to use under the eyes. In fact, I recommend it, especially if you're using a separate concealer and you're not using Pure Press Base as your concealer. Absolutely. Yeah, that's a good point. Okay. Um, so Sherry is asking, is there a concern or recommendations for acne prone skin with regards to primers? Well, our primers are non-comedogenic. 
But if you're concerned with like shininess or really oiliness or light hitting, you know, any sort of active acne causing, you know, more attention to be drawn to it, I would highly suggest using the mattifying primer. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, okay. Last question so far regarding primers is, is primer good for eyelids prior to eyeshadow? You absolutely can use our Smooth Affair on, on top of your eyelids for your eyeshadows if you have a drier skin. So because of the dewiness, it may make the shadow move. Now, again, I'm going to, if you have oily eyelids, which means you probably have oily skin, I'm a proponent of the mattifying primer. Your eyeshadows will sit really, really nicely on top of that. Okay, anything else, Miss Emma? Okay, all right, fantastic. So let's move along to the second star of the show, which is our Pure Press Mineral Based Foundation. This is our number one selling foundation. We sell one of these every 60 seconds globally. So this is fantastic for all skin types, whether you have dry skin, whether you have oily skin, in between, this is gonna be your friend, I promise. It's quick, it's easy, it's a foundation, it's a powder, it's a concealer, and it's broad spectrum protection. So that means it covers both those aging rays and those burning rays. SPF of 15 for the deeper shades because we did have to lower the titanium a little bit just so that it wouldn't show up ash or gray on a deeper skin tone. SPF of 20 for all others. And I will say this product is also 40 minutes water resistant. And yes, that includes in moving water. So you literally can be hanging out in at the pool. You can brush on your peer press base and you can take a dip in the pool, go for a swim, and you're still protected for 40 minutes after. So fantastic. Semi-matte finish, micronized minerals free of synthetic chemicals, oil-free, and it feels absolutely weightless. Remember, we have no talc, so it feels weightless on the skin. We have that titanium and zinc, which are antimicrobial also acts as our sun protection. And those two ingredients are also anti-inflammatory. So whether you're acne, you have rosacea, or you have highly sensitive skin, that titanium and zinc actually is gonna help to be more, um, to be very calming for the skin. Or in the case, if you have acne prone skin, it provides bacterial protection. Boron nitride is a fun ingredient. <laughs> Look that up. This is pretty much like the Rolls Royce of minerals and it really gives that beautiful soft diffusion of light. So it refracts light. And what that means is it, it almost looks like you're carrying around your own little filter when, you're, when you wear a pure press face, right? Sea minerals, soothing and nourishing, pomegranate extract, which is going to be your antioxidant protection. So you have your sun protection, you have something that's breathable, you can adjust the coverage to be full, medium, or sheer, and then you have antioxidant protection, all in this little compact. Isn't that fantastic? <laughs> so again, our multi-purpose foundation and our best seller worldwide. Yes. And that is available in 26 shades, I'm proud to say. Yes, we got a few questions. I'm going to start with the one that's most relevant to the shade. So okay. I think it's pronounced Alana is asking, how do you choose the right shade? Okay, so do you want to? So what I highly suggest is going on to our partner location locator mm -hmm. so that you can actually go into a partner. They've all been trained on how to properly speed match. If you do not have access to a partner, Emma, what yeah. do we have available digitally? digitally. We have our foundation finder quiz. I just put the link to our location finder in the chat. And then for our foundation finder, you can click the next link that's in the chat. Um, and it you can choose both by shade and by formula. So um, when you go in, you can just click the picture of Cure Press Base and you can be matched for that particular formula. Um, but yes, we have wonderful partners who are more than happy to help shade match you. Absolutely, absolutely. And I just did a video of shade matching on my IG, so they better be ready for you. When they go. <laughs> Let me, I'm gonna share the link to Nichelle, Nichelle's um, Instagram as well. So there's no excuse for that. Um, okay, next question is, if you want to get a heavier coverage from your foundation, what is your favorite um, for wearing under pure press base? 
So with peer press space, what I'm going to do is when we do our demo, I'm going to show you how to use it as a full coverage foundation. But if you are just someone who has to have a liquid, I would suggest using either Beyond Matte Liquid Foundation or um, Glow Time Pro. Mm -hmm. Either one of those will work. So Beyond Matte is nice because it's, it's a semi-matte finish. So it, it plays very nicely with the formula of Pure Press Base because of the semi-matte quality. And then if you just want a little bit more of a skin-like glow to your skin and you want to add your Pure Press Base on top just to kind of tone that glow down, you absolutely can use Glow Time Pro. Yeah. Right. Um, okay. Uh, how is Pure Press Base different from Amazing Base? The finish is different. The, de the deck of ingredients are the same. The um, the SPF protection number is absolutely the same, 15 or 20, but Amazing Base is more of a luminous finish. So if you really, really are just like, you know, I, I love my luminosity. I want my skin to have that J-Lo glow always, then absolutely go with Amazing Base. But if you want more, something more skin-like, something that's going to be a little bit more semi-matte, but not matte. I don't want you to think dry and flat. That's what I want. This actually looks a little bit more, more like a like a soft radiance. If, if that if that makes sense, yeah. Then yeah. you would go with pure press base. So luminosity versus semi matte. Yes. Um, okay. Then so um, Linda is asking about the best way to apply. So we're going to go over that in the demo. Um, but it's with a handy brush. But we'll go over that in the demo. <laughs> um, and then, um, a couple questions about, uh, well, I guess it's just one. How do you, uh, do we choose the same color, uh, in pure press base as in any of our liquid products? So no, uh, like, yeah, every, every, um, every formula has its own unique shade, um, range. So what, if you go to your partner location, you'll need to be speed matched for any other thing out all of your all of your products that you need. So if you want Glow Time Pro, I'm sorry, I can articulate that for some reason. If it's okay. I got it. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying. So if you want to be shade matched for Glow Time Pro, that's a separate process. But really all together collectively, it should take your partner no more than 20 seconds to speed match you. It's very quick, very easy, very simple. Yeah, totally agree. Um, okay, so this is something that we could potentially cover in the demo as well, but I think you should still talk to it. So um, Sherry is asking, how do you add coverage um, with Pure Press Base, with, like when you want to use it as concealer over acne or red spots? Okay, so what I suggest is a flux sponge. Mm -hmm. So we'll talk about that in just a second with application. Yes, but it's possible, and I don't think you can tell, but I have a recovering acne spot, let's call it here. So I'll show you how to use that. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Can we go on or do we have, I, you know what, you guys keep these questions and comments coming. I absolutely love the engagement. It's great. Yeah. Um, we do have two more, so let's just do okay. those and then we move on. So, uh, Gabrielle is asking, do you ever use a little bit as a finishing powder over our tinted moisturizer or hydropure? 100%. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Again, if you want to, this is what I love about all of our products. Everything, you know, with it being free of those fillers and binders and talc, everything plays quite nicely. So you'll never have any rolling. If you are a fan of Dream Tint, and which I am absolutely a fan, and there are days where I'm like, I love Dream Tint, but I feel like I want to zhuzh it up a little bit. I absolutely use my Pure Press Base on top of it to create more of a flawless finish. It's beautiful over Hydropure. And, mm -hmm. you know, just, just be aware if you're really in love with that Hydropure, um, that dewiness, that really, really glowy look, then that's when you want to kind of switch over to possibly the amazing base. But yeah. if you want to kind of tone that dewiness down, but you love the feel of Hydropure and you still want that radiance to your skin, you absolutely can use your Pure Press base on top. Yeah, I will say I have more dry skin, so I love that dewy finish of Hydropure. So mm -hmm. what I'll do is I'll apply Hydropure everywhere. I'll cover any imperfections. For me, it's my, I have dark under eyes, so I use concealer. And mm -hmm. then I'll kind of use Pure Press Base just in the T-zone or where yeah. I'm oily. So it's Perfect. not everywhere. So it's yes. just exactly what you said, kind of a finishing powder. Perfect. Perfect. Um, okay, last question is from Alana. You're welcome, Gabrielle. Um, is how long does a product last once applied? 
So pure press space specifically, like how long do you kind of- You know, we, we, we don't like to put our hours on, um, out make hourly claims. So I would suggest just touch up when you need to. But again, because, you know, no fillers, no binders. And also if you're gonna use all of your steps correctly, your smooth affair, your pure press space and your spray, you should have a, a pretty, you know, something that's pretty long, you know, long wear. Uh, I don't want to say it's 18 hours or 17 hours or yeah. whatever crazy town stuff that people make claims for because we won't, we don't want to do that. But just touch up when you can and when you will, because it, it'll never get cakey or heavy on the skin. And I think that's the concern is if I have, you know, these three things on and if I want to touch up, is it going to, you know, get really thick and heavy? Absolutely not. So you, I t trust me. Emma says earlier, she said, I never see you oily. I'm like, because I touch up my powder all day long. Yeah. <laughs> Michelle always has this like beautiful velvety satin matte finish to her skin. Oh, I'm like, I think you're lying that you have oily skin. Nope. No, ma'am. I touch up all day, <laughs> all day. Yeah. And I, I don't know if you noticed, but I'm always I, in meetings. I'm yes. always like this. Yes. So for me, everything else is like perfect. And then like right here is worn off because I'm always touching my face. But if I didn't do that, it would last throughout the work day easily. I'm sure. I'm so yeah. absolutely sure. All right. Anything All right that's else? it. No. Nope. All right. It. So let's finish up with our last friend here, the third star of the show, which is our Palm Mist Hydration Spray. Again, I will say this one more time. Our hydration sprays are the only thing that can penetrate our minerals to lock them in and give adherence. So we have our Smooth Affair, we have our Pure Press Space, and we have our spray right on top. And by spraying your palm mist, not only are you going to get that protection from that pomegranate extract, which is a powerful antioxidant again, but you're going to get a makeup that's non-transferable, right? So, or if you're like me, I, I live in California, I'm still masking while I'm working. So it makes your makeup less likely to transfer. I've never lost this part of my face when I remove my mask. So we want to make sure, again, you're going to get those skin loving benefits, those powerful antioxidants, but you're also going to get that final piece of that adherence. And I know sometimes you think, oh my gosh, I'm not, you know, a makeup wearer. This is you know, three steps are possibly a lot, but because everything is bunch, bundled together and the process is so simple and so easy, you can be out the door with your complexion in less than five minutes. Trust me, I've tried it and I've succeeded, right? Because yeah. you're going to get that full pigment delivery from your pear press base. Your skin is already prime and you literally could walk out of your door spraying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to say I'm always late. So that is me. And it, I usually, it takes me maybe a minute and a half. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, it's yeah. the easiest process. Mm -hmm. um, but I, oh, you know, another question that I get, and I'm just going to throw it out there just in case you all may have it. I get asked, can I use this independent of the makeup? You absolutely can. On those days where you're like, I am not going outside, I'm not putting makeup on, but I want my skin just to feel really, really good. Or if you're in front of a ring light like I am now, but you really, really need that extra antioxidant protection, absolutely spray your palm mist on, put your moisturizer and your serums on and you're good to go. All right, it is demo time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop my share. All right, are we ready? Look at me, shiny. <laughs> okay, so Emma, you're muted. You're mu <laughs> oh no. Okay, unmuted. I'm gonna scooch up a little close so you can see because my lighting's not so good. Okay. So I'm gonna good. get uncomfortably close and I apologize in advance. <laughs> no problem. Okay, so what we're gonna do is now I know that we're gonna both apply our smooth affair. So again, that pea size. And Emma, I don't know if you do this, but I like to do this. I actually like to press it into my skin. Mm. Mm. Let me, let me but you can you can rub, you can press. I'm definitely like a you're, you're a rubber slapper. You know, I just kind of like slapper. I'm a slapper. Okay, this you guys, if you've never joined M and I before, this is where we get a little squirrely. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> During the demo. 
We hope you enjoy our our squirreliness. Our squirreliness. All right. Ready? Yep. So I'm gonna take my pure pressed base in a warm brown, and I don't have I don't have compact. That's okay. I have one. Yes, the lovely refillable compact. So how mm -hmm. this works is you purchase the compact one time, mm -hmm. and then you actually oh love hands on part, and yeah. you pop it out and you put your refill in each time. So you'll only need to purchase the compact one time and one time only. And the refills come in recyclable cardboard too. So you don't have to feel bad about that. Yes. Sustainable. We are a sustainable that's company. True. Yes. That's right. So I'm going to take my handy brush. I'm not going to, and I'm going to tap off the excess. And I'm going to start in the center. And I'm going to do I a start in the forehead. Is that bad? No, not at all. I say the center of the face because typically that's where your makeup leaves first, especially okay. if you have oily skin or large pores. Um, and this is where people look at you. They, it's it's the, the center focus of the, the face. That's true. Right? I'm just going to share the link to the handy brush in case anyone is interested. It's um, vegan. So it's, it's animal free and it's super soft. And I have a little baby sister and I just like did this to her and she just kept going. Oh, sweet so baby. Soft. So cute. So, I love it. So I want you to take note, everyone. I'm not buffing. And I know typically with other mineral brands, they require you to buff. And I'm going to just explain that to you just really quickly. Most mineral brands, their minerals actually lay on top of the skin like tiny little spheres. So if they require you to buff them, that means that they want you to break down the spheres so that they will lay on the skin. Ours naturally lay flat on the skin like fish scales. So if you actually get in there and start buffing, what will happen is you'll disturb the way that it lays on the skin and you'll polish the mineral. So you'll actually change the color. And we don't want that. So it's always going to be a downward motion. And for my friend that asked about more coverage, mm -hmm. this is the key. Ta-da! This is your flock sponge. So if you opt to make this a full coverage foundation alone or on top of something else. And that's this is typically what I do for bridal because I still take brides. I use a liquid and then I take my little flux sponge and I do a press and roll. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so three things. One is that we actually have the kits on, on janeardell.com. We have um, the skincare makeup system available as a kit. So you can buy all three together. I just shared the link for that. Um, the second thing, I guess, is that we have a question from Amy. Okay. She says, I'm an esthetician and wear two to three serums plus moisturizer plus mineral SPF before applying smooth and fair primer. I noticed that my pr uh, pressed powder looks almost as if it highlights my pores more and doesn't sit correctly. Uh, is this just me or am I doing the steps wrong? Um, even after applying the spray, it looks gritty and highlights my pores. What am I doing wrong? So I have never heard of pure press base looking gritty. So what I would suggest is probably whatever you're using underneath, you're not giving it enough dry down time before you apply your primer. So I would suggest giving, letting your serums like dry down first and then doing your primer and then doing your pure press space, okay? Yes. So, and then also too, you may consider using a flock sponge like I'm using in lieu of the handy brush. Mm -hmm. Okay. But uh, you can see like how much more coverage that is than over here. I have a little bit of a delay, but. Yeah, no, your, your delay is not so bad. Um, okay, I think it's pronounced Lisa, it's two eyes. Okay. Um, if I had, if I have very sensitive skin, should I tap on the powder instead of swipe? No, your sensitive skin, what do you mean as opposed to using the handy brush, Lisa, or using the flock sponge? Because I will say one thing about our brushes, even though they are vegan friendly, these are the softest brush brushes ever. Mm -hmm. So it shouldn't irritate your skin. Yeah, I will say I had a retino retinoic reaction from an acne serum that I was using. Oh, wow. So my skin is really, really sensitive. And these brushes are so soft, it actually made it feel better when I was applying it. Um, so 
call me. Yes, yeah. the brush. So yeah, you should be okay, Lisa, to try the brush. But again, if you if you want to try any of these products in person, visit janeardo.com, go to the top bar that's kind of like a dark peach, and you can click on the find a location tool and you'll be able to find someone in your area who has the products that you can test and try. Yes, 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 yes. Um, okay. Next question from Alana. Does what you use to apply makeup matter, brush or sponge? Sponge. So I would highly suggest um, if you're going to use our mineral foundation specifically, go with our tools that we suggest because our minerals are micronized. So our tools are made specifically to go with our minerals. And if you're going to use a flock sponge, flock sponges are great because what they do is they actually place product without absorbing the product. So this is going to be better suited for camouflaging or creating that full coverage from your peer press base. Yes. Okay. And I have actually seen some moms who are like in a real rush. Mm -hmm. They just use the flock sponge and they kind of like wipe it around to get that coverage faster. Mm -hmm. so that's another option too. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. Because look at the difference. Look at the split of my face. This looks absolutely like flawless. And then this mm -hmm. one, you, you can still see my skin. You can still see my skin on both sides, but this just looks like, I got graced with the best skin ever. <laughs> okay. and, and trust me, it's not me. It's the pure press base. <laughs> a little you. It's a little. No. no, no, no. All right. That's it for questions. Okay. So we can carry on with our application. Okay. Are you ready for our sprays? Yes. All right. All right, madam. Well, we're going to do our hydration sprays. And we're going to be locked and loaded. I don't know why my lid didn't come off, but it did eventually, so it's fine. Okay, and I'm, I'm a sprayer. Like, I drench myself, which I probably shouldn't, but. <laughs> <laughs> and also, I will add this about the hydration spray. So not only, again, great skincare benefits, that extra adherence, but it actually returns your skin from that powder finish to more of a skin-like finish as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I forgot to pack a uh, hydration spray once when I went, went away and I just, it's still, my foundation still looked great, but I'm just so used to that sort of like immediate radiance. Mm -hmm. I had to wait like an hour or so and then, and then I got it without the spray. So Elizabeth asked which spray is more luminous. Elizabeth, the, um, the D2O is gonna be more luminous. I will share a link to that as well. Um, okay, so we have a couple a couple questions. One is from Danielle. She says, what's the best way to clean brushes and sponges? Okay, so with your brushes, you wanna make sure that you take some mild hair shampoo, put it in your hand, mix it with some water, swivel it around, rinse it, squeeze it, and lay it flat to dry. Do not have your brushes um, dry upwards because what happens is the water gets down and loosens the glue from the wood. Okay, and make sure if you're using multiple brushes, you set them, you give them some space so that air is able to circulate through. All right. Mm -hmm. And then the flock sponges are great because you can do the same thing here, or you can use your facial cleanser. I like to use my facial cleanser because this is, you know, it's a different material. So my facial um, cleanser is more antimicrobial. So that really does a great job at this. Yeah. Um, we just got a question in the chat that I'm going to ask before I ask Angela's question. So okay. Anne is asking if she uses a blush or bronzer, I think she's maybe British because she said blusher, which I feel like it's just fancy. Um, should I wait to apply the spray over that? You absolutely can, or you can do like, I just happen to have a blush right now. Oh, <laughs> demo number two. I need to finish my look. So <laughs> you see how easy that goes on? What you'll find is, again, without the fillers and binders, you're even able to use, if you use a cream blush, you're able to use creams on top of our powders. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter if you wanna go ahead and put your blush on before you spray, or you can give yourself just another little spray after you lay your color down on your face. Yes. Um, okay, so Angela asked uh, a great question that's a little bit more general, but I think it's like the answer to it is the skincare makeup system. So she says, I am new to this brand, and this is the foundation um, you would recommend for beginning. So she says, I am 56 and have more mature skin. Absolutely. This is 100% the place to start. Yeah. So yeah, you are in the right place. 
Yeah. And as I said, oh, go ahead. Sorry. No, no, no. I was going to say, you saw how easy that was, you know, even with our chatter and our funny jokes. <laughs> I hope you all were laughing. Funny? <laughs> Are they funny? Um, you, you can see how easy it was to do your application if you wanted to just quickly dust over if you're running to the market or if you're going to a party and taking your flock sponge or just kind of adding another layer with your handy brush. It's mm -hmm. easy, it's comprehensive, and it's good for your skin. Yes. Yeah. And I will say, because I do work with our influencers, there are influencers that we really want to work with, but I've never worked, you know, tried our products before. And I always send them the skincare makeup system. That's our favorite introduction to the brand for anyone who's, you know, new to the brand. They kind of don't really know what they're about, but maybe they're curious about the clean aspect. Um, the skincare makeup system is the place that we always recommend people start. Absolutely. Any other questions? Um, we do have a question about glow time blush sticks, but I think we can hold that until, until okay. after the Q&A section. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do now is we are going to go back to our PowerPoint and we're going to dive into some pre-populated questions that I have pulled. All right. So do you have a foundation with a pink undertone? I love this question so much because a lot of times brands really limit to neutral and warm. We absolutely have cool undertones in pretty much every formula. So again, make sure you locate a partner so you can get properly speed match. For aging skin, is liquid or powder best? I would say if it weren't Jane, I would vote for something else, but because we're here in this space talking about this phenomenal product, you absolutely can use our powder foundation on an aging skin. Um, how do I choose the right shade? I think we've gone over that. And this is another one. Again, this is just a kind of a reiteration. I have never been a makeup wear. It is all, it all overwhelms me a bit. How can I comfortably start wearing makeup for my aging skin? Start with a skincare makeup system, your smooth affair brightening formula, your pure press base and finishing with your hydration spray, your palm mist. Okay. Um, I've been using pure press foundation forever, never, ever had a, had a flawless complexion, any tips? And I think I kind of drove that home with the use of flock sponge and you saw the split between this side of my face and this side. Any other questions? You're muted, Emma, you're muted. Keep doing that. No, we haven't gotten any yet. I think that's pretty much it. Although if you have any questions, please do write them in the Q&A section. We'll be happy to answer them. If not, here, I'm going to just, just, I just love this again from Jane. She's just, mm -hmm. she's just amazing. Makeup should look good and feel good and be good for the skin. I want to say thank you all so much for spending some time with us this evening. I know it's you know, it's a lot in the middle of the week, but you came blazing with the questions. Yes, and I appreciate it. Alana, you deserve a prize, ma'am. Like, she's so, <laughs> like, love it. She's Alana, so, you are just, you're, you're she like, just a asked a question. Let me, let me, let me ask it to you. Please. How do I decide if powder or other form of, or a different form of foundation is right for my skin? So what I would say is when you sit down with your, your service provider, I would definitely kind of say, you know, what you like about your skin, if there's anything that you want to change, what kind of finish you love to have, and what you're currently using. And based on giving your service provider that information, they'll be able to determine which formula is going to be best suited for you. Totally agree. Yeah. Okay. All right. And, and I will. Oh, okay. No, no. I was just, yeah. say, I, just in case you you don't live near one of our um one of our uh, partner locations, our foundation finder quiz also helps you figure out what the best formula is. So okay. I'm gonna just share the link to that too. Perfect. And I do believe that Emma shared the link to my Instagram. I am very DM friendly. So yes. do not be shy if you have questions or if there was something that you were quite unclear about this evening or even in the future, I please don't hesitate to reach out. That's what we're here for. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, okay. One last question from Sabrina. Um, is there a good way to apply the Circle Delete Concealer that does not enhance under eye wrinkles? 
Okay, so I'm glad that you asked that question about concealers. Mm -hmm. So I will concealers, concealers, concealers. Um, and trust me, this is something that I get everywhere I go. Concealers typically go on places, areas of motion. That's what we artists call places that are constantly moving. So things are things tend to heat up with the skin, things tend to move. If you do not, I don't care what concealer that you're using, whether it's Circle Delete from us or another brand, if you do not set your concealer with a powder, it will move. Circle Delete in particular is a very emollient concealer because it does have Moringa oil in it, which is a great skin conditioner. However, you don't want to overuse it, one. You want to make sure you tap it in really, really well. And then you can simply take a small brush, like if you have the shader brush, dip it into your pure press space. You can do a little press and roll, or you can kind of fold your um, flux sponge and you can just tap it on top, okay? But you've got to make sure that you set your concealer. You just have to set your concealer. It's an area of motion. Yeah. All good. Do you agree and, with that, Emma? Yeah, Emma, sorry. No, I was just reading comments. <laughs> yes, I, I definitely agree with that. I think um, as someone who has dark circles too, that's something like I, I, I also find that I will actually apply my Cure Press base see where I need extra coverage, go in and then I'll, I'll powder again, just in those areas. Yeah, absolutely. And another, here's another little tip um, with the circle delete because it is so emollient. What I like to do is I like to take a little bit out and kind of warm it up on the back of um, my hand. So what that does, it'll loosen up the oils and it makes it go on a lot smoother. Sometimes I find if you try and go, just see if it's been particularly cold or if it's been sitting for a while, if you try and take it from pot to skin, it, you end up like really having to work it into the skin. And we want to watch that because of that eye area is so fragile. So warm it up on the back of the skin, just with your ring finger, because again, weakest finger on the hand, so you won't do damage there. And then tap it in and then um, set with your peer press face, spray your hydration spray, you're good to go. Yeah. Um... We got one more question, but I'm not so so Lynn is asking, I usually wear liquid minerals in pure fest. Excuse me. Is the new liquid good to switch to with this kit? Do you mean the Hydro Pure Tinted Serum or do you mean um Smooth Affair? I'm assuming she, prob she probably it sounds like she was using the old formula. I think so, yeah. Um I'll let her type back, but uh Laura asked, will the class be posted to Jane Ardell's YouTube channel? Yes, it will. It will likely be posted later this evening. Um, and all of you who joined should be getting an email with a link to that as well in the next few days. Um, all right. I think we should uh, answer Lynn's question with the assumption that she is referring to um, HydroPure, Tinted Serum. Yes. So Lynn, if it's Lynn, correct? Did you say yes. Lynn? Yeah. So Lynn, if you were previously using liquid minerals, of course, that's been discontinued. You'll switch over to the HydroPure Tinted Serum, which works phenomenal. You can incorporate it with the skincare makeup system. You're just going to get even more an enhancement of those skincare benefits. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. All right. Well, that's it for questions. Um, Thank you so much for joining us today. As I said, this will be posted to YouTube, so you can go back and look at it. Um, all of you who attended are also entered into a giveaway, so you will win your own um, skincare makeup system. I will be uh, emailing you about that, so keep a lookout. Um, and we hope you'll join us for the next masterclass. Um, we'll be posting about it in our emails and on social, so keep an eye out there. All right. Thank you. All right, Emma, good to see you. I will see you, you soon and talk to you soon. Thank yeah. you everyone again for joining us. I really appreciate you. Take care. Bye-bye. Okay.